Not sure how well you can see that, but there it is right there. I got an air leak right there. So my cutout was a tad bit undersized. I always say you should do a test fit on your baffles before you start assembling things. I didn't do that this time. I didn't think I needed to. I had the measurements from the manual. I had a CNC machine. That just goes to show you, you always do a test fit. There's always just a little bit of variance in the manufacturing process. Inches, it just is what it is. This is an easy fix. I'm gonna cut a ring that's about an eighth of an inch larger than the cutout, tape that ring down, grab a small router, and make a hole that's just a bit bigger than my existing speaker cutout. I know it looks like I'm making a lot of mistakes, but not really. What you're seeing is the active problem solving process that every DIYer has to go through on every DIY project. As you're working, you're constantly going to find or even create little problems that have to be solved. And you need to see me making those mistakes and solving those problems so you could understand that setbacks are normal. You've just got to power through them. The obstacle is the way. All right, it should be fixed now. Why don't we see how much abuse this little subwoofer can take? 